misplaced celebrations. Rule 14.1 of 2012 AFCON qualifiers states that the first criteria for separating teams tied on points is the greater number of points obtained in the matches between the concerned teams, a rule that blindsided South Africans. What I'm saying is that the, the technical team had their interpretation of the rule. They played according to that interpretation. CAF have a different interpretation of it. We are now going to go to CAF and say, we believe our interpretation is a valid one. If they say, no, it's not a valid one, we will then also raise the issue that fundamentally that that rule has resulted in something that goes against the, the, the fundamental principle of FIFA, which is fair play. When appointed to the helm just over a year ago, Pizzo Msimani was tasked to qualify for the next two AFCON finals and the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. He's failed to deliver on his first mandate. Clearly, this issue will be raised with him in terms of his performance review. Um, I'm not going to second guess or judge what the outcome of that is. There is a continual process of performance review and we will have this conversation. South Africans had high hopes of success post the World Cup and after recent progress, it is back to square one. You know, Lebo Hang Tube, uh, SABC News, Johannesburg.